An important tip for pronouncing the TL of Nahuatl is to realize that it is not a separate syllable. It is not said tol. It is not a T and L, but rather should, it should be pronounced as a single consonant. And to pronounce it, we should remember the point of articulation as well as the matter of articulation. And so let's start with the point of articulation. What I'd like for you to do is put your, the tip of your tongue against the ridge right behind your front teeth, behind the uh, upper jaw. There is that alveolar ridge that juts up right behind your teeth. That is where you pronounce, for example, the N, the S, and also the L. So if you put your tip of your tongue against that ridge, you can start to pronounce the L sound, which is very common in English and many other European languages. So once you re uh, realize that point of articulation, what you can now do is instead of pronouncing it like a voice L, what you should then try to do is instead of breathing out with the voice in your voice box, let the air flow out the sides. So it's not l, but rather So you can feel the air, the breath coming out the side as you put the tip of your tongue against the ridge, you can feel the breath of air, the flow coming from the sides. That is why it is called a lateral alveolar affricate because it the lateral means that the voice, the wind is coming through the sides of the tongue. So that is how you pronounce the which is a fricative, it is a steady flow of air. But the TL is actually an affricate, meaning that it begins with a stop. And so what you're going to be doing then is once you have that point of articulation, now you should close up the roof of your mouth with the size of your tongue and then release so that it begins with the stop and continues with the frication. It continues with the flow of air. So it is first the and then the flow, and together, if you release it at the, in the proper timing, you can create that sound. But it is short because it is just that one consonant. So with some practice, you can begin to pronounce the sound, which occurs at both the beginning of many syllables in Nahuatl, but also at the end. In fact, it is in the very name of the Nahuatl language. So with that, you can start to get a hang of how to pronounce this very important consonant, 